So in this video, I'm working on this hub cap. This is just one off the rear, and it had one big mallet dent in the rim here, and I just kind of bumped it out and didn't. Uh, it was right there, and I didn't sand it or file it or anything, so you can just barely see it. But I'm not gonna. It, it turned into a lot of work filing and sanding because it makes the material look like a different sheen. And I don't like it, but I hit this all with the with this wheel with the gray compound. Now I'm hitting this with that wheel with the green compound, and that's just shining up like glass. I mean, it it's amazing how just going from one wheel to the other makes a big difference. This was off the left rear, and uh, the front one's still over there with the dents in it. Here I'm going to work them out. But this one's in pretty good shape other than, like I say, it had one mallet dent, and I pushed that out. So we'll get this one finished buffed up. It, it's buffing pretty easy with the, the green on this wheel. And uh, I already did this whole perimeter, and I did, did these and these. So now i got to do this part all around in here. I put a little rubber things on the ends of the shafts because I accidentally bumped the shaft yesterday with one of the hubcaps and it scratched it so I put those rubber things on it to prevent that. Let's see, I start with the valve core end and work my way around. I'm just barely touching this wheel with this stick. difference will show up here or not but it's significant the, the shine difference is so much better here that's still got rouge on it I'll go over it with car wax when I'm all done but yeah what a difference that makes just going from the gray rouge and that wheel to the green one I just wanted to kind of show it in the video I'm not gonna make a video of restoring every hubcap it'd be you know pretty boring but I just kind of wanted to show what I was doing here, just getting these hubcaps done up. I might repaint the black in them, we'll see. See how it looks when I'm done. I just gave the black a quick shot with the trim black, and then I just take a somewhat damp paper towel and wiping the excess paint. It's quicker than, easier than masking at all. And then I'll, uh, it'll be done once this is done. So I'm just going to carefully go around and wipe all uh, the stainless steel with this lacquer thinner. And then, uh, you know, I mean, it wipes right off once you get it a little wet. And then I'll just go around and get the edges real fine once I'm done getting the main stuff off. So it's going to take a while, but it's going to look good at the end of the day, I do believe. It came out really well. Now i got to put wax on it. You can still see the haze from wiping the lacquer thinner off, or wiping it off the lacquer thinner, all the, the paint. I, I Like I say, you, like here in the main part, I'd use a little, maybe a little damper tall to get it off but this and these almost dry and it just kind of gels the paint almost as you're wiping it off and just get a little bit on a paper towel on a rag or whatever you're using on your tip of your finger so it doesn't go down in between those ribs um, the 59 Chevy has ribs like this that are painted too and the Ecklers or what used to be late great Chevy you sell a sticker kit that you could put on but I, I ordered one and it was such a pain, I ended up just doing it this way. I just painted them with uh, this, gave it a light coat, and then 
went around with lacquer thinner and did this and it's held up really well so I'm sure these will hold up. I'll replace that. I'm going to let the paint dry for an hour or two. Then maybe I'll replace that and I'll wait a couple days and I'll put a coat of wax on it. But you can certainly see the difference before that's untouched and that's somewhat restored less the center cap and the and the uh, coat of wax. But I'll, I'll video when I put a center cap and you can see how this emblem corresponds to oops to the um, valve core. So that way the hook caps are on the car like this. And you can see if you look in here, see how there's one tab there, there's three, 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 and one. So these only go in one way so that that's the way they are. It's uh, pretty much all restored. I got to put a coat of wax on it. I'm going to let the uh, paint dry, the black paint dry two or three days. But this, these center reproductions are not like the originals. So you can see the valve stem hole and see how that's off, not like where it originally was, like, like this one. See how that valve stem and the and these have one single tab so there's there's three 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 and one with and they're cut in a little bit where those tabs are i'll show you with the old one grab it. these see how they're cut in and you can see where the tabs were bent over and then there's one that's just really that's where the one individual tab goes so on this new one, you can see that's the one individual tab, just even with the valve stem, just like it should be, but this is not where it should be. So when they, I don't know how when they tooled it up to make them, but they didn't do it right because that should be with this so that they're all... You know, with the valve stem up, they're like that. But it's no big deal. It's not going to detract from the car. It's just, you know, it's kind of sad that they can't make them, you know, exactly the way they originally were. You know, how much effort would that take to make sure that they were made correctly? So, anyway, that's that's in. So, I guess if you want that like that, your valve stem is going to kind of be off about 10 o'clock instead of at noon. Maybe, yeah, about 10 o'clock. 9.30, I'll say. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's, it really, I'm, I'm super happy. This is one hubcap done, other than a coat of wax. So I'm going to start on another one. I haven't even touched this one yet. I'm going to bump that out eventually. And this one had a big dent, like a mallet dent, and I, bumped it out and I don't think you can find where that mallet dent was anymore. It really came out good and uh, I didn't want to file or sand on it so I just kind of used a little block of wood and I gently tapped it out and it came out good. I'm, I'm probably going to use a little block of wood for these too so I don't have to file or sand as little as possible. And this hub cap, I'll eventually, I'll finish it up, but I got a sand, you can still see some of that. I think that's the original silver paint just around, just around the edges here. So I'll probably go around and sand that one more time, just around here. I won't sand, this is all fine, this is all fine, it just needs it just a little bit around the opening here, and then that, this will be an extra hub cap. I'm just going to... I'm just going to restore all the original caps and put them back on the car. And I also bent these ears, you know, they, they get folded over. So I bent them back out a little bit, straighten them up a bit so that it bites on the wheel. But, you know, really good. But once that's waxed up, yeah, it's going to look like a million bucks. Just sitting here, this is that really beat up hub cap that <laughs> flew off the car. It had a pretty nasty gash in it right there, and I'm getting most of it out, but I'm just sitting here 
I've just been sitting here with my body tools and different things. These are all out of my bumping drawer, the drawer I use for bumping stuff. Just kind of, I can see the, I can see the gum tin here. And I'm just trying to get it pushed out, and it, it's coming out. It's looking, it's looking pretty good, but it's still there. And uh, so I'm just going to sit here and tap away at it. And try and get that out <laughs> to where I can sand it and off it and get this wheel cover done too. This is the worst wheel cover on the whole car I believe. <laughs> so it's gonna it'll take a little bit longer but I only I spent on that other wheel cover I spent about four hours. That one the one I just finished restoring in a couple of days I'll put a coat of wax on it and then we'll get some more video of it. But it looks pretty darn good. You just kind of work at it like that, you know, and look at it and feel it. and It's coming out. It's just going to take a while, so I'm just going to sit here and hammer away at it. And as I sit here and hammer away, you know, I got blocks, all different, you know, some of them are cut. Some I even cut and grind differently. My body hammers. I have some tire irons, and I sometimes I even use these tire irons for... For, uh, straightening stuff and I have this which is a fairly heavy piece of steel you never know you know I mean I've used that, that for bumping this is a black pipe cap I use that to hammer pipe in the ground outside for projects but sometimes I use it in here and uh, you know it's just good to have a little drawer of miscellaneous stuff used to bump on and uh, different sticks and things that are all for, you know, then I don't have to go digging around or find something. And if I make something, I just put it in the drawer here. This wheel cover is pretty, this is the roughest cover, like I say, on the car. This is the one that flew off, was smashed in here, here. Actually, it was much worse than what I expected because it took this out around. This was so smashed in right here that the whole cap here, everything was pushed Push that way so I had to I just sat there and worked at it on this side I don't know you can see, kind of see where it's shiny in there that's kind of where I was uh, hammering and I was using this and these tools you know these that I use for body I can grind that to any shape you know it's pretty blunt and I grind the edges so it doesn't have sharp edges and what's nice is this is the shape you can get it into some awkward spots like on the hubcap down into those areas and I can turn it over to get more of that edge or turn it this way to get more edge. You know, I can turn it different ways and tap on it until I get the dent out. And I think that's about as good as it's going to get. This, like I say, this is the roughest cap on the car. And... Uh, I think I can sand that out. That's why I got that other cap was to replace this one because I thought that I'd never get this straightened out. It was like I say, you know, all these, there's, you know, this edge, this edge, there's this edge, and then this big flat area. And even that flat area was caved in, but I think it'll look, once it's on the car buffed up and cleaned up, new cap and everything and on the car, I think it'll look fine. I'm going to start Maybe maybe I'll bump a little bit more. I gotta start sanding it though. That you can see a little gap in there, and when I pry these things up to get this cap out, that moves that whole thing. And then when I put it back in, I had to tap it back in on that other hub cap. So I'm not too worried about that right now. I just want this edge here straight. And this side and this side, it was both pretty heavily mashed. But um, it's coming along. I'm just going to work at a couple more minutes. I got about 45 minutes into it, and then I'm going to start sanding on it. Well, hopefully this will show up. I'm going to take my little block with some 320 and sand this 
edge out until it's smooth all the way around. That'll get all the dents out. And when I buff it, it'll look good. So I'm using 320 right now. And they're sanding out pretty quick. And if it looks like heck, I'll just use that other wheel cover. It's no big deal, you know, that one that I've been working on. Or maybe I'll find another used one to buff up. But we're going to give it a good, honest effort in trying to, to fix it. I think that, that all I see are little dents from the hammer. From, you know, just a few little... So I just go around and do this, and then... If I still see shiny, I know I gotta sand more. There's a little ding right there. It's so tiny I don't think I could would be able to get that out. I don't even think it'll show up in the it's like a pin prick size. I might be able to sand it out. Yeah, I think I'll be able to sand that out, but I'm just gonna go around this whole edge and make sure there is no more things I gotta bump out because it'll show up like a sore thumb once you sand it if you have another spot that needs to be bumped. This is where it was really smashed right here. This is the worst of the whole hubcap. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna sand out fine. I think it's gonna look good just giving it a turkey around here. It looks like I got all the low spots out. So now I'm just gonna go around and just neaten it all up and sand it and do some different grits. I'm not gonna sand the whole cap, only the parts I'm repairing, which is this top. There was a big crease right there. I can still slightly see it, but because this was smashed in so badly here, it actually bent the cap here. I didn't realize how badly that was smashed until I started working on it. Um, it didn't look as bad you know, as dented up until I started pounding it out and realized, yeah, it is, it is pretty rough. But anyway, it's gonna, it's sanding out. And I, I'll do this 320 and then I'll go to 400 again, you know, and then 600 and then 800 and 1000, then 15 and 2000, then get it with the buffer. It should should look good when I'm done. I'm hoping it does and I'll repaint the, the black in this too like I did the other one. That is sanded out with 320 and it looks pretty darn good. I'm going to hit it with 400 next and we'll go on up through the grits and get that puppy all ready to buff. Down to 400 grit now. That's sanded out with 400 grit. It's looking pretty darn good. All the road rash is fixed on it. And you can see if you really look, I don't know if it shows up in the video or not, but all around this whole circumference here, if you really look, you can see little dings pretty consistent all the way around from the die. I mean, you got to really look. They're right on the edges and, you know, from when they stamp these things out. So this will probably look better than what it did when it was brand new. They didn't, Ford or none of the car companies made show cars. They made cars, they slapped together, they'd buy and run into the ground and replace them. So, the, you know, I mean, they have plus or minus tolerances sometimes of quarter inch. But anyway, that's that's uh, road rash is cleaning off pretty darn good. So I'm going to, that's like I say 400, I'm going to do 6, 8, so on and so forth up to 2,000. And I'm going to do the rest with uh, wet sand. And I'm just going to take it in the house and put it in a laundry tub and get a little dish out and water with my sandpaper and so next is 600, and then 8, and then 1,000, and then 15, <laughs> then 2,000, like I've probably repeated a million times. But it's, uh, you can see where I, you can probably see in there where I 
hammered. I don't know if it, hopefully it shows up. It's the shinier spots. There was a lot of little dings in this, a lot of road rash in this. Two major ones, when it flew off on me, it flew into the oncoming lane. The oncoming car hit it and sent it flying behind me. And it hit the curb, bounced up over the curb, and landed on the grass. Now, I know it had dents in it when I got the, the hubcaps, got the car. But it was pretty rough. It, it needed... <laughs> Need a lot of straightening, but anyway, that thing's coming. I'm I'm happy. This this hubcap's gonna look just as good as the other one I just got done restoring. There we go. That's 1500. That's as fine as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go 2000. I sanded the whole complete cap out with 1500, including the black paint, and uh, where it's where I had to repair it there that's as shiny as a maybe even shinier than the rest of the cap but anyway it's ready for buffing so i'm going to start buffing it that's going over it with the uh coarse buffing compound now i'm going to go over it with the fine that is the final buff now i'm going to shoot some black and uh you know re redo all the black in here and then i'll wipe that off lacquer thinner just like i did the other cap the black is on. I'll let that dry up a few minutes. And maybe I'll just take a towel of lacquer thinner and get the heavy paint off in the between. And then I'll let it dry until it uh, dulls up like the trim black's supposed to be. Then I'll go around and get all the nooks and crannies. If I mess it up, I just go back and paint it back up. But I'm just going to try and get the, the heavy areas. See, I just messed that up, so I'll touch that up. Doesn't take much. This is a lot quicker and easier than taping it. Alright, I'll get a clean towel and I'll go around and, you know, just slowly work closer and closer to what I need to do. I'll try and show, show how I do this. So, my paper towel and I just kind of go around and all the uh, high spots you can get and I'll do a final cleanup when I'm all done you know with a coat of wax you got to turn your towel and you got to kind of hold it such so that the tail or any of it doesn't go in any of your other finish anywhere and if I do you know occasionally I do mess it up I just go around with my touch-up brush I spray a little of that in the paint cap and then I just go around and touch up um, any spots that I might have messed up. And I try and put the towel right just to the, like see, well I don't know how it shows up there, but so I'm just using the edge. So I don't go any further than what I need to. Oops, gotta get some of these. See, it gets a little 
my paper towel is kind of dry that's you know it's not dripping with lacquer thinner I kind of like it that way when I do this it softens just enough to get your paint softened up and and off is all you need you need just a tad more if you have too much it just runs down like you know like water and then it gets into the paint so you just gotta kinda then I do those little ribs the same way I'll show you how I do the ribs and then I'm gonna turn the video off because I really need to have full view of what I'm doing here So these things here got to be wiped in, but the paint's still a little wet down in there where it was heavier. So I'm going to wait to do those. In fact, uh, I was just looking for a dry spot, but I'll show you. I just kind of very carefully... like so and just keep working at it and uh, these are where I really need to focus in on so I'm not going to video a lot of that because I really want to focus get some more thinner on my I really want to focus on what I'm doing there so I don't want the camera kind of in my way I'll try and show how I do these little little ribs here I just take my towel real tightly and there's it's I wish I could show you how much lacquer thinner I have on there very very little it's very dry you don't want it running off on your um, paint you know that's in between so I do it dry and sometimes you have to go over it a couple times and I just try and pull a paper towel up really tight into my finger so that it doesn't, you know, so I'm just getting the tip of it. Just wiping the tip. It takes a lot of patience. That's why I usually don't record stuff like this. Usually I just turn the radio on and just sit here and go to town. That's, see, now I got that a little wet, so I'll fold it over and and that'll uh, dry it out a little bit. And then there's also little little bits here that need to come off because this originally wasn't painted there. And when I'm all done, I can go around with a clean towel and just kind of touch up anything I might have missed. And then I'll touch up the paint with my touch-up brush. And we'll call it good. We'll let it dry a good uh, 24 hours before I uh, try and wax it. Maybe a couple of days. I haven't waxed the other hubcap, and I did that two days ago, day before yesterday. Or did I do it yesterday? I don't remember, but I'm going to try and do a hubcap a day. So that way I can get them all. See, and there's just a little. I'll go back and do that when I. I go back and do the little detail stuff when I'm done. You know, I'm going to miss some spots and. No doubt about it, but you can kind of see how I do this. So there we go. I'm not gonna, not going to uh, video at all. That is all uh, painted up. I'll, I'll wait to change the insert tomorrow and put a coat of wax on it in a couple of days. I just kind of 
gave it a quickie wipe up so you know to get most of the rubbing compound stuff off and it looks pretty good it'll look brand new once that insert's replaced and that'll be in uh i'll do that like i say tomorrow and start working on the other two hubcaps and that's where the hubcap was that i just uh Finish that was the one that flew off the car last summer and was the worst condition. And this one is the one that uh, I did yesterday, which came out really nice. I still got to put a coat of wax on it, but that has the new insert in it. And uh, these ones are pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have to do a lot. There's a like a thing right there, a gouge, but there isn't a bunch of. Uh, mallet dents in it and I don't think this one has any mallet dents either so I think these two will just be a clean up buff and repaint new inserts and the paint isn't even really that's that may be the best hubcap on the car right there these two hubcaps are definitely in better shape than the two I've already done so I've done the the worst of them well, I think I'm going to call it a day, a day so I can go in and edit up a video for you guys. And i got to obviously take a shower after doing all this buffing. Yeah, that kind of gets you dirty. But they're, the hubcaps are really coming along good. They're going to look amazing once the wheels are painted. And there's some... I'm going to put, you know, the correct size white wall. And Hankook makes a white wall tire, I think, in the size that will fit this car. So that's probably what I'm going to get for it. But anyway... If you like the video, hit the like button, share it, do whatever it helps. Thank you. And if you want to see this car done up with new white walls and everything, hit that 348 engine icon, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching my videos.